I got some pretty good news today for Lakers fans once again. It's been a really good summer to be a fan of the Los Angeles Lakers. Not that I would know anything about that. I mean, I'm, I'm a Pistons fan. Obviously, I'm wearing a Pistons shirt. Look, I got some, I got some Pistons pants on. Oh, I almost forgot you. I almost forgot you this time. Look, they got Ben Wallace right here. Always got him in the videos now, watching over me, protecting me, do these videos like he protected the paint in Detroit for so many years. Got the Pistons flag up right there. So obviously, I wouldn't know anything about being a Lakers fan. You know, the, the Lakers got Lonzo Ball. They took our KFC, I mean KCP. They signed KCP from us. And now this too. Meanwhile, for the Pistons, we got Langston Galloway. But hey, it's it's whatever. At least we make in the playoffs this year. The Pistons in the playoffs. Anyone that says otherwise can go suck a toe in an alley on a Wednesday morning in the middle of July. We are making the playoffs this year. Anyways, though, we're going to be talking about Brandon Ingram today. See, I made a video not too long ago this summer talking about Brandon Ingram. I believe it was titled Brandon Ingram is going to be scary. I made that video after Maddie Johnson came out and said that he expects Brandon Ingram to score at least 20 points per game this year. And after that, I think the feeling of most people was Maddie Johnson is gassing up Brandon Ingram. Look, we know Brandon Ingram's going to be better this year, especially in the offensive end, but 20 points per game seems a little bit unrealistic. Chill out a bit there, Maddie Johnson. However, we might have to all eat our words now because now I might expect Brandon Ingram to also average 20 points per game if this story is true. See, someone who was close to Brandon Ingram, who has been watching him develop, grow, and train this summer, uh, gave us a few statements about Brandon Ingram, including that he has grown to almost, if not seven feet tall. I think he might be 6'11", if not seven feet. I think he's at least 6'11". Looks a little bit more stout on his shoulders. So it would appear that Brandon Ingram has gotten much taller, which is a great thing right off the rip, but it doesn't mean anything. Height only gets you so far. If you're just tall and not the best player and not as skilled, you wind up being like Austin Day, who of course was on the Pistons. But if you are tall and you know how to use that height, you are skilled, you could be something like a Kevin Durant. And luckily for Lakers fans, it doesn't look like Brandon Ingram is going the Austin Day route. He is more trending towards the Kevin Durant area as he has also improved his jumper. He completely changed his mechanics this season. Not only is his stroke completely smooth, pause, but the base of his legs, which was a problem last year when he started that year, he felt he was trying to push his three-pointer with his hands and his arms and his release point because he didn't have the leg strength that you have to have to develop at the NBA level to take multiple shots per game. To me, that's even better news than him getting taller if I was a Lakers fan because we all know that Brandon Ingram struggled on the offensive end last year. He was very inconsistent and shooting with your arms, trying to force the ball up from three with your arms will cause you to be extremely inconsistent because as the game and as the season goes on, you're going to get tired. Your arms are going to be sore. You're not going to be able to get the ball up there as easily, which is why people say you should shoot from your legs. Brent Ingram just obviously, you can tell, you can look at him last year and tell that he did not have the leg strength uh, to get the ball up there. I mean, his legs, he, he never had a leg day in his life. But now I guess that's not the case anymore, so that's ex extremely great news for Lakers fans that Brandon Ingram will be able to shoot the ball more consistently. But, oh, that's not it. You guys already knew. That couldn't be all. There had to be something else. Not only did he get taller and stronger, but I guess Brandon Ingram also got quicker. In the meantime, he's gotten more explosive. His first step is quicker. I talked to some other coaches, some players. Everybody said that small sample size we saw in Vegas, he has now gotten better from that point. All right, I am sold. Look, look, if, if all of this is true, if Brandon Ingram did get taller, if he's now nearly seven feet tall, if he did completely change his shooting form, if he now shoots from his legs and he got quicker as well, I am sold Brandon Ingram will at least average 20 points per game. You are not gassing him up, Magic Johnson. If he doesn't average 20 points per game this year, after hearing all of this, I will be disappointed. And it sounds like Brandon Ingram done transformed into Kevin Durant. Matter of fact, I need to make sure the person who said these things 
doesn't need to wear glasses and wasn't accidentally watching Kevin Durant train this entire summer because it sounds like he was describing Kevin Durant, a seven foot player with perfect shooting form and a very fast first step. Yep, sounds like KD to me. I mean, they said he got much better since he was in the summer league. I don't know how many of you were watching Brandon Ingram in that summer league game he played, but in that game, he looked freaking phenomenal. Dude looked like he was ready to average 15 to 17 points per game this year, which is already really good. And now if he got better from that, I don't see why he wouldn't be able to average 20 points per game uh, this year. And that being said, I got all of my money, everything I own, I'm Brandon Ingram most likely winning the most improved player this year. Every year we know that there's that one player who comes back much better than people expect them to. It happened with Jimmy Butler. It happened with CJ McCollum. I mean, if CJ McCollum came out of nowhere and put up over 20 points per game, I don't see why Brandon Ingram can't. And then of course it happened with Giannis. I knew Giannis was going to be good last year, but I didn't know he was going to be as good as we thought he was. And I already thought Brandon Ingram was going to average 15 to 17 points per game. So once again, maybe I'm not thinking he's going to be as good as he will be. And if he does average over 20 points per game, then he has the most improved award already hands down. And as for the growth thing, did he actually get taller? I don't see why not. While players growing is rare, it's not unheard of. I know Paul George has grown a bit since he first came into the NBA. And of course, Kevin Durant has grown since he first came into the NBA. When KD entered the NBA, he was listed at the same 6'9 that Brandon Ingram is listed at right now. And now even though it has never been come out as official that Kevin Durant has grew, we all know that he is no longer 6'9 unless DeMarcus Cousins and DeAndre Jordan are both shorter than 6'9 somehow. So Kevin Durant grew. It was very possible that Brandon Ingram did grow and is closer to 6'11, 7 feet now. It's uncommon but it's not completely unheard of and overall you guys know how that saying goes hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard that saying is a hundred percent true but have you guys also heard of this saying when talent works hard you can forget about trying to beat talent because ain't nothing beating talent when talent works hard brandon ingram came into the league extremely talented it looks like brandon ingram has been working hard Talent working hard, Brandon Ingram is about to ball this season. Even though I'm not a Lakers fan, at least they get to be happy about this. But that's about it though. Let me know what you guys think about Brandon Ingram this upcoming season. Do you think that this is true? Do you think that he actually got taller and got better shooting, got faster? If so, do you think he will average over 20 points per game this year? Now, let me know down in the comment section below. And just once again, thank you for coming back for more daily NBA videos. It really means the world to me that I have all you great people that come back every single day and watch me talk about basketball. It's like a dream come true. So thank you for making my dreams come true. But I guess like the video if you did like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more daily NBA videos. And until tomorrow, keep giving the bucks to my DC and I'm out of here. Peace.